Governor Ron DeSantis has made it pretty clear that not all books are appropriate for school libraries. And now the Broward County School Board is trying to create a process to decide which books can stay and which ones have to go. Local 10's Hat Silvella is live to explain. So Christy, because of state laws, the school district here in Broward County is simply trying to come up with policy to how to deal with uh, folks who report books that they think may be inappropriate for the classroom. This is banned. This is one of the books banned in Broward schools, a day in the life of Marlon Bundo. Yes, the bunnies get married. A book about possibly two same-sex bunnies. Carolyn Crone bought the book and went before the school board to denounce how the book was banned because it violates the parental rights law, what critics call don't say gay. Currently, there is no policy for this process, which is required by law. A significant amount of opposition from the public over the idea that the banning of books is even being discussed. Please use common sense and vote for an opt-out policy that allows freedom then for all parents. If the books are removed from the school, nothing's stopping you from buying them on Amazon. Today, the school board was briefed on possibly a new process the district will design to allow parents and community members to object to certain classroom books. Concern from school board members on how to move forward. They don't want their child ha having access to that book. That is their right. Um, but I don't think they have the right to, or they should not have the right to ban that book for all students. A number of school board members want to make sure parents have a way to opt out the same way they're able to do so when it comes to sex education. We have to protect the innocence of our children and respect the parents that don't want their children to be exposed to certain things. So the issue comes up before the board on April 18th and May 4th. We will be here, of course, to provide details as to what the final policy will be. But now reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Hatzel Fella, Local 10 News. Hatzel, thank you.